Do I'm you- just, I'm laughing because it's so funny to me and joy filling to me that we're actually here doing mm, this. Yeah. Because I remember when you first got the idea to do a podcast <laughs> and you were super excited about it, but it's taken over a year for it to actually happen. Honestly, I would love to hear your perspective <laughs> and, that, and the telling of that story. What do you Man, remember about that? We were in the middle of a 40-day fast, <laughs> oh, and there is nothing glorifying about that. Mm-hmm. It, is, it is so difficult yeah. for different reasons. Um, <laughs> but for some reason in this fast, you, I feel like, had a renaissance of <laughs> of passion and just mm. ideas, creative things from the Lord. Yeah. Like you were getting a download from Jesus of, I think, a vision for what your life could be and, mm. and different ways that you could increase your, your platform, how you could mm. like impact more people. Mm-hmm. And um, yeah, just Amongst different... Amongst many other things. Right. This yeah. was not the only idea. For Mm -hmm. sure. But this was one that was on the top. Yeah. And it was influenced by a dream that you had. Yeah. And so, um, yeah, I I just remember you being really excited about it and doing some very practical things to make that first step, Hmm. like clearing out this room. Yeah, yeah. And turning it into what would be the podcast studio Mm -hmm. like you took that first step you had no equipment you had no plan you had nothing you just had a bunch of whiteboards (laughs) and you're like we got to clean this room out we we're making the move now and it was almost like you were doing it in faith for this moment for Mm -hmm. whenever you would actually be able to do the podcast you're like i'm making the space now so that i won't let go of the vision wow so that's yeah. what I remember. <laughs> no, that's, man, it's crazy to think back. I, yeah, I remember because this was a bedroom. It was a bedroom, yeah. And one of my roommates was moving out and my other roommate was back home for a few <laughs> weeks. And so I had like the freedom to do whatever I wanted. Yeah. And so, yeah, I had you. You we wrote were, me into moving. I was, we were just busting our hump, <laughs> cleaning this whole thing out. Right. And trying to get a vision for it. That's all it really was because I didn't yeah. have any equipment. I didn't really have any idea how to do it. Um, but you're like, I want to do something mm-hmm. to put action to the idea that the Holy Spirit gave me. Yeah. It was almost like my way of taking it seriously. Yeah. what The dream that I had and what I felt like the Lord was had for me, inviting me into what, however you want to say it. <laughs> Men. And then, and yeah, so then, but then life happened. Yeah. And you get busy. There's other things that come up. And it wasn't until almost a year later. Right. Where there was this kind of resurgence of just like a fresh vision for it again. And the Lord was like, there was a couple things that happened where the Lord kind of brought it back around. And he was like, Nathan, you remember like, I put this on your heart, and yeah. um, I this you know I was serious about it, sort of. You know that was kind of kind of how it was, and I was like, man, like I don't know. I got excited about it again, and I actually this time around I had the capability to do. I had the finances to do it. Right. I had the vision for it. I I understood the the podcast game a little bit, just enough to get it off the ground, and right. and I had vision for it. And so me and yeah, a couple of my friends, we started writing out what what it would it take to actually do it and what's the equipment that we need and what would we talk about and yeah and there were things that needed to be in place i think before that happened even like Caleb being your roommate mm-hmm. being able to help you get it all started definitely like that wasn't in existence back when you first that's got the that's vision. so interesting because mm-hmm. over this last year he's been taking classes right about post production mostly around music but he's been learning a lot about producing audio is what it is and so he's able to take our podcast audio and the footage and do a few things and make it even higher quality yeah shout out to caleb yeah yeah. hey (laughs) he's getting married in three weeks by the way oh my gosh so so but that's another story another time (laughs) but yeah so that that was like another you know there were some pieces of the puzzle that have come together in the last year yeah so but, the timing is perfect from mm-hmm. the Lord, but it's just, it's crazy to me to actually be sitting here doing it. The first podcast with you yeah. after that initial inception 
from that 40 day fast. It's yeah. Crazy. Inception. Inception. Are you noticing me using bigger words? <laughs> I'm like, you don't really talk like this. <laughs> I'm trying. What can I say? That's so yeah. funny.